Ronan Reigns finally breaks silence after the Usos' betrayal on WWE SmackDown massive accusation made against WWE veteran Paul Heyman, WWE ruining Rhea Ripley, Logan Paul to win WWE Money in the Bank, LA Knight leaving WWE, Dominic Mysterio saves Roman Reigns from massive championship defeat and more. Let's jump right into it. Massive accusation made against WWE veteran Paul Heyman. Serious accusation has been made by ECW founder Todd Gordon against WWE veteran Paul Heyman. Todd Gordon is all set to bring out his book called Todd is God. He recently appeared on the Outdated Wrestling Podcast and shared a bunch of details about the book. As per Gordon, Paul Heyman has been lying his off for years about what happened between the duo back in the day. Gordon said that he watched Heyman's DVD produced by WWE and added that he wants to tell the true stories. Gordon also said that he would have kept mum about Heyman if the DVD hadn't come out. For those unaware, WWE produced a DVD called WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman in 2014, chronicling the career of Heyman. Here's an excerpt from Gordon's comments. You're gonna hear stories about drugs, sex, rock and roll, all that good stuff, and you're gonna hear some bad stuff too about people who were just dishonest. What really happened to Paul and I? Gordon's book will contain the true story as per the veteran. Long story short, it wasn't until Paul Heyman's DVD came out for WWE, and I watched it and I said, you gotta be kidding me. I kept quiet for so many years. 30, 25, whatever it is, and he's out there still lying his off. I said, I can't take it anymore. So I said, I got to tell the true stories. Nobody's telling the true story. It had to be told finally. I would have stayed quiet for life if he hadn't done that DVD. The wise man has been working as an on-screen character for WWE for quite some time now. He aligned with Roman Reigns back in 2020 and has been a member of Reigns' bloodline faction ever since. Heyman works as the special counsel for the tribal chief and is one of the most over acts on WWE TV today. It would be interesting to hear Heyman's thoughts on Todd Gordon's comments about him. Longtime fans of ECW would love to get their hands on Gordon's book to know this side of the story. What do you think of Gordon's accusations thrown at Heyman? Sound off in the comment section below. WWE ruining Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley has been champion for a little over two months now, and in that time, she's defended her title twice. The Eradicator's first title defense came against Zelina Vega in a match of the night candidate at WWE Backlash 2023. She later defended her title against Natalia in a short bout at Night of Champions 2023. Many fans reacted negatively to the contest as this was on the Queen of Hearts' birthday and she couldn't land any offense on Ripley. Besides the two title defenses, Ripley has been working as part of a storyline with Dominic Mysterio. The angle has seen her have altercations with several male wrestlers, including Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Ahead of Money in the Bank 2023, Ripley has no challenger and isn't expected to wrestle in a match. This has led to many fans sharing their frustration on Twitter regarding her recent booking. Many fans believe that Becky Lynch is the woman carrying the women's division at the moment even though she isn't the current title holder. Lynch is in a feud with Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark. Meanwhile, Big Time Bex has ensured that women still have the spotlight each week on WWE Raw. Asuka was recently presented with her new championship on SmackDown, which led to Charlotte Flair returning and Bianca Belair stepping up her game. Over on Raw, Rhea Ripley was handed her new title, and Dominic came out to put it around her waist. Meanwhile, Cody Rhodes and Dominic exchanged words in a segment where Ripley was pushed to the background. There was a time when Ripley was the woman many fans believe who changed the rules in WWE, but now she has seemingly been forced to step away from the spotlight in the women's division. Rhea Ripley doesn't have a match at Money in the Bank because she has been too busy helping Dominic Mysterio in his feud with Rhodes. This means that UK fans could miss out on seeing Ripley in action when the company makes the trip to London next month. Asuka could have two potential challengers ahead of the July 1 show. On the other hand, Raw's women's division appears to be focused on Becky Lynch and the issues in damage control instead of the brand's top champion. Do you think Rhea Ripley has elevated the division in recent months? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Logan Paul to win WWE Money in the Bank World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins is a marked man on the road to WWE Money in the Bank. Undisputed Champion Roman Reigns seems unstoppable, so most of the competition is centered on the newly debuted world title on Raw. NXT star Braun Breaker will challenge the Visionary this Tuesday. Rollins is also scheduled to defend the world title against Finn Balor on July 2. Adding to Seth's problems is the men's WWE Money in the Bank ladder match because the winner is believed to cash in for the world title. If Rollins does win against Breaker and Balor, there is a chance that a former rival from the past might pop up to settle the score. Logan Paul will be returning this Monday amidst the massive rumors of an entry in the MITB ladder match. The Maverick could continue the tradition of surprise entrance, winning the 
the Money in the Bank briefcase. Setting up his career, Logan Paul will gain massive heel heat if he is the chosen one over LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. A hint about his next program was given after his WrestleMania match when he garnered praise from Seth Rollins, who is ready for round two. Former commentator and wrestling analyst Sam Roberts pitched the idea of Logan Paul winning the men's Money in the Bank. He believed the swerve to be best for business since the YouTube sensation could get the WWE product exposure. The Maverick is also an experienced main event wrestler. Rather than a program with Seth Rollins, there's a chance that Logan Paul becomes the next challenger for Gunther as a third party in the Intercontinental Champions feud with Matt Riddle. A powerhouse versus a brawler versus a high-flying technician is worthy of being the headliner for WWE Money in the Bank 2023. Since his debut in 2021, Logan has been featured in every major WWE premium live event. Money in the Bank will potentially be his sixth major appearance in a grand wrestling event. There's no doubt that the company is developing him to be a future megastar despite the multitude of losses. Seth Rollins' former rival signed a multi-year contract with the Stanford-based promotion following WrestleMania. He revealed that he wouldn't have re-signed unless he saw himself winning a championship in the future. Being the hyper-ambitious person that I am, I'm going for a belt. I wouldn't have signed this contract if I didn't think that I was capable of getting a WWE belt. I think it'd be the coolest thing ever. I'd love to have it on my resume, and I'd love to show every kid around the world who watches WWE that you can achieve anything. Will Love and Paul put an abrupt stop to Seth Rollins' World Heavyweight Championship reign, or could he shock the world by ending Gunther's surreal intercontinental title run? Only time will tell. LA Knight leaving WWE LA Knight has been one of the fastest rising stars in WWE for some time. However, recent booking decisions haven't favored him, and Mark Henry believes he needs to do something different to get a push. LA Knight had a decent run on NXT, where a rivalry against Cameron Grimes earned him a short reign with a million-dollar championship. Fans got behind the 40-year-old WWE star soon after he made his main roster debut. Even though LA Knight is excellent on the mic and a remarkable in-ring performer, he is yet to do anything of note on the main roster. The creative team seems not to be focusing on him as he has been getting himself over organically. Commenting on Knight's position on an episode of Busted Open Radio, Mark Henry and Bully Ray lamented how the creative team decides to push certain stars. It sucks man that there have been times, and Bully can attest to that, that somebody gets over naturally and organically, and then they say, well he's already getting over, let's do something with somebody else, rather than pile it on that guy. Pour the gasoline on the fire, Henry said. The Hall of Famer shared some advice for Knight that included him talking directly to management. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Say something. Will y'all do something with me, please? I'm busting my A. I'm getting over. Henry concluded by advising Knight to lobby for himself or refuse to renew his contract when the time comes to make an impact. I don't know if LA Knight is doing that. You gotta lobby for yourself, he explained. And if they say no, then you know what the deal is. When your contract comes up, don't try to renew. The creative team needs to invest in the 40-year-old WWE star if they plan to make him a future world champion. He is seemingly as over in the company as some of the top stars and has been working hard to get himself in the spotlight every week. Seth Rollins currently holds the WWE. WWE World Heavyweight Championship, while Roman Reigns is enjoying his iconic reign as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Fans have been speculating who will eventually defeat the two for their respective titles. Many fans and former WWE superstars want to see LA Knight win the 2023 Men's Money in the Bank contract and challenge for a world title. However, Vince Russo, the promotion's former head writer, thinks the 40-year-old WWE star won't win a big title in the coming year. On Sports Kita Wrestling's Writing with Russo show, the former writer addressed Knight's chances of winning the MITB briefcase. It's so hard to ask me that question because if you're asking me, can you be up there? I'd say yes. But the way they do business, I say no. They would have to change the way they do business and really get behind him. And based on track record, I just don't see them doing that, Russo said. According to Russo, LA Knight won't make it big or reach the top anytime soon due to the creative team's booking pattern. Fans must wait and see how WWE books Knight in the coming months. Do you think the SmackDown star should refuse to re-sign with the company if he doesn't win a big title? Sound off in the comments below. Dominic Mysterio saves Roman Reigns from massive championship defeat. Roman Reigns owes Dominic Mysterio a big favor after what happened at WWE's latest live event. The Tribal Chief didn't have much time to process the Usos' betrayal on WWE SmackDown. He had to face Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio at tonight's live event emanating from Cincinnati. Roman Reigns was on the verge of losing his undisputed WWE Universal Championship tonight. At one point during a match, Mysterio hit a devastating frog splash on Reigns and attempted a pin on the fallen star. Out of nowhere, 
Dominic Mysterio came out and pulled the referee out of the ring, thus preventing the pinfall. And Iret Rhea launched himself on Dominic to a loud pop from the fans in attendance. At WrestleMania 39, Dominic took on his father Rey Mysterio in a singles match. The WWE Hall of Famer picked up a big win over his son in front of 80,000 fans. On the road to the mega event, Dom explained how training with his father used to be a frustrating affair. It was very frustrating to work with my dad cause he didn't always understand where I came from or what I wanted or understood what was going through my head. But don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the time when I was able to soak in all the knowledge from him. But I think it's different being able to work with a group like the Judgment Day because we're not family, but we are like one. We treat each other like family, we all hang out, we're like family. So I think the dynamic there is definitely a family dynamic. It just definitely works out for us. Dominic Mysterio is still quite young and has a long road ahead of him on WWE's main roster. One wonders if Roman Reigns will acknowledge Dominic's help somewhere down the line and reward him for the same. What are your honest thoughts on Dominic? Share in the comment section below. Bobby Lashley calls out Roman Reigns after the Usos' betrayal. Roman Reigns received a message from Bobby Lashley after the Usos' betrayal, leaving the WWE Universe intrigued. On SmackDown this week, Jay and Jimmy Uso finally freed themselves from the bloodline and attacked the tribal chief to a loud pop. Fans showered Reigns with chants of You Deserve It after SmackDown went off the air. WWE shared the video of a dejected Roman Reigns on its official Instagram handle and it quickly garnered a massive amount of views. One comment stood out though, posted by none other than Reigns' former rival Bobby Lashley. The Almighty put a telephone emoji in his comment, hinting that he wants Reigns to call them. Lashley's comment received more than 400 responses from WWE fans. Bobby Lashley has feuded with Roman Reigns on a bunch of occasions in the past. Back in 2018, Lashley made his big return to WWE and kicked off a feud with Reigns shortly after. The Almighty pinned Reigns at Extreme Rules 2018 to bag a massive win against the Big Dog. Mere days later, Reigns exacted revenge on Lashley and defeated him on an episode of WWE Raw. Two years ago, Roman Reigns had a chat with men's Health Magazine and heaped big praise on Bobby Lashley and Big E. Everybody's built a really solid package. Just the two guys I was in there with on Monday, Bobby Lashley and Big E. Very different physiques, but both top-tier, world-class athletes. Not only with the way they look, but the numbers they can put up in the gym. I'm sure if you put a stopwatch on them too, it'd be pretty impressive the way they can move, said Reigns. Lashley and Reigns were involved in several six-man tag team matches back in 2019. The reunited Shield took on Lashley, Baron Corbin, and Drew McIntyre in a bunch of multi-man bouts with the Hounds of Justice coming out victorious in every match. Lashley's emoji hints that he wants the Tribal Chief to give him a call. Is Lashley interested in forming an alliance with Reigns? A team-up between these two powerhouses somewhere down the line would be a must-see attraction. For now, though, Reigns is set to team up with Solo Sokoa against the Usos at WWE Money in the Bank 2023. What do you make of Bobby Lashley's comment addressed to Reigns? Sound off in the comment section. Roman Reigns finally breaks silence after the Usos' betrayal on WWE SmackDown. Roman Reigns has finally broken his silence after the Usos betrayed him on WWE SmackDown. WWE presented a live event from Cincinnati tonight. The Tribal Chief was on duty mere hours after the Usos' betrayal and defended his title against Rey Mysterio. At the event, Roman Reigns picked up a mic and cut his first promo following the Bloodline's destruction on SmackDown. Reigns told the Cincinnati crowd to acknowledge him before his match against Mysterio. After picking up a big win over the Hall of Famer, the Tribal Chief cut another promo and told the crowd to shut up and acknowledge him. The Usos were loyal to the tribal chief for about three years before they couldn't take more of his verbal abuse. Jay Uso made a decision on last night's SmackDown and sided with his brother Jimmy, with the duo turning on Reigns. At WWE Money in the Bank 2023, a Bloodline Civil War tag team match will take place between Reigns and Solo Sicko and Jay and Jimmy Uso. Fans are quite excited to witness this blockbuster about now that the Bloodline is history. Earlier this year, Solo Sicko had nothing but praise for the Usos while talking with sports illustrated. I'm supposed to be here. I'm not going to run away from something I was born to do. Roman was born to be champion. The Usos were born to be the greatest tag team champion. We were born to do this. Now we're doing it for real. Fast forward to now and Sicko is hell-bent on destroying his own blood. The young gun has made it clear that he is loyal to Roman Reigns and will do everything in his power to put the Usos down at Money in the Bank. Who will come out on top at Money in the Bank 2023? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing take